Welcome to day 60 of the Hardcore Castle. I've been doing a little bit of scouting, um, a little bit of resource gathering, not much, but just sort of out in that direction. There's another village over there, out there. Went across the tundra and visited the village at the other side of that. But things are about to change. We can't stay in a wooden castle forever. We need to upgrade to stone. We really need to upgrade to stone. So I have sent my stewards out. They've gone out much further than the village just out of render distance there and those two villages. And they are looking for people to hire, recruit, coerce, force to come and work here. We need masons. We need a master mason. We need carpenters. We need quarrymen to get rid of that and start a bigger quarry as well. We need hoopers, carters, um, blacksmiths. Oh, we need blacksmiths. We need people to make buckets. Hello, puppy. We need lots of different people. And I have to prepare for when they come. We've got to make somewhere for them to live, somewhere for them to work. But before I start doing that, I have to map out where our castle is going to go. And I had to decide what our castle was going to be. Uh, if I put it... Let's start with here. Just mapping out the Great Tower. So we had choices with the castle. We could make it like, oh no, I'm bringing it all over one. We could make it like the White Tower, which was the main keep of the Tower of London. So big centralized square building with everything contained within it. Or we could do something like Spies Castle in Slovakia, which is strong inner curtain wall, buildings arranged around the edge of that with an inner courtyard. I had a bit of a think about that. I also talked to my son about it, who had something very wise to say. He said, Mum, this is Minecraft. Do something that's going to be more interesting to build. He's right. So we're going with something like Spies Castle. So inner curtain walls, buildings within those, and an inner courtyard. Whoops. Now this is the Great Tower. And as you can see, it's going to be pretty large. We need to have nice thick walls on this. Uh, two there. And there we go. So I'm going to start mapping this out, not just the tower, but the entire keep. And then we'll come back and We'll start working on accommodations for our workers. Yeah, that works. Only now I'm wondering if it's big enough. Mm. We'll see. We'll see. It's all marked out. When I was putting it down and especially mucking around with the gatehouse here, I was thinking, oh my goodness, it's enormous. But uh, looking at the footage over replay, I'm a little concerned that it's too small. Well, we'll find out when I start laying it out in stone. So I've got a few things to do now. Just looking out for pillages. Oh, why did I decide to ignore that pillager outpost? I do not know. Hello, pig. All right, what we have to do first 
is get down there and make a path. I mean, that's I've said it so many times, that's going to be our quarry. And we can just see the village over there. So I need to make a path up from there and round to here. So let's do that first. I think we are going to need a bridge of some sort or... Um, no, I think we need to cut a track up. So I'll start doing that and we'll see where that takes us. Okay, that's marked out, but wow, that is way too steep. So let's make it... Let's make it a gradual slope up, which I think means that we take it this way. And we've got to make it wide enough for a cart. What I am really missing right now is a clock. I need to get a mine started. Right now it's cut and I'll just mark it. Uh, but I think I might put couple of rows of slabs as well just to make the gradient a little less sharp but oh, I don't think this one's quite wide enough. Cart's going to struggle with this. Hang on. Let's push this back a bit. I thought I was done. I'm not. And up to here. Now I think here I'm going to make a mason's lodge and a carpenter's lodge. Yeah. Okay, so we've got our cart path down to where the quarry's going to be. And when that's finished growing over, I'll just cut the rest of it. Uh, quarrymen can come down this way. So they can walk down. And the carts can get up. And I need to make somewhere to cut the stone. So that's the next bit. I actually really like our little wooden castle. I'm going to miss it when it goes. Okay, I haven't got any lifting equipment down here yet because they're just going to be shifting all this dirt by hand. Once they start getting into the rock, we'll start giving them something to lift the heavy rocks with. Uh-oh, there's trouble coming. Oh my goodness, can I make it in time? Oh, thank goodness I fitted the postern gate. We'll have to put off working on the mason's lodge and the carpenter's lodge for a little while. Come on, cat, quick. Oh, we'll have to trust the cat will teleport. This is... Thank you. Wow. And this is why being on hardcore is so very scary. I think I'm going to be waiting this out for a little bit. I might go sort out my storage boxes. They need sorting. I'm sure they need sorting. I'd say can I make a bow except I've only got two arrows. And I know I've got no flint. You're checking it out, are you? Just wait. Just wait. One day, we're going to take that on. Then they'll be sorry. Have they gone? Have they really gone? I looked from the top of the tower and I couldn't see them. That doesn't mean they're not hanging around somewhere. All right, looks safe enough. I've just got to be ready to run. I want to get this tracing floor in. Tracing floors were used for drawing out templates for carpentry and masonry, for all the decorative shapes and special blocks. If you want to see this actually in use, I would highly recommend a series called Secrets of the Castle. There are several channels on YouTube that have it and it's three British historians spending six months at Goodaron Castle seeing how everything works. 
Really, really interesting series. Okay. I need to get roofs on these things. Would you please grow? Oh, crumbs. Here we go again. Oh, there's a lot of them this time. Thank goodness I've got a couple of gateways. Ugh. Do we dare have a look? Oh. One, two, three, four, five. There's six of them at least. Oh. And just as we start to get a good push on with the Carpenter's Lodge. Oh, go away. All right, I'm just going to grow trees for a while. I'll see you later and hopefully not them. They hung around for two days, but I think they're gone. I think. Yeah, it looks safe. Oh, we need all our men back. We need protection. We need our castle. All right, I'll continue to work on these and you'll hear from me if something exciting happens. Although on hardcore exciting isn't necessarily a good thing. Mm. So, are we ready to go out and see what I did? We had a wandering trader come past. They are so useful. Sometimes. <laughs> this one had exotic seeds and saplings. I've got jungle wood. Yay! <laughs> I only bought the one. I've managed to plant a few now. That's just the latest crop. I also went, as you saw, for a very long walk. And I got dark oak. I went out to about 6,000 due west, nothing, came back, then went northwest, and I was just going to go anti clockwise round the clock, but not northeast. <laughs> Fortunately, I found Dark Oak about 6,000 blocks out on the northwest axis. Hooray! So let's come down and see what I've been doing. And the tower in the far corner, I'm going to shift out a bit more and just straighten that wall up a little bit. Not straight straight, just a bit. But no, we've got the path up from the quarry. Oh, I've got to actually turn those into path blocks. I'll do that after I finish talking to you. And then here we have the Mason's Lodge. It's all ready for the Master Mason and the other Masons to come in. We've got a tracing floor, that's really important. We've got a stone cutter. Everything else, it'll go in as the workmen appear. And down here we've got the carpenter's workshop. Now it's already been really busy because the carpenters have been making all these things. Again, we've got a tracing floor. They've been making some doors and trap doors. We've got a hooper who's around somewhere making barrels for us. And this was the blacksmith's. But then I realized I'd built the blacksmith's right next to the carpenter's workshop and wood store, that doesn't seem smart really. So I turned it into the rope maker's workshop. So we've got ropes hanging from the ceiling, we've got some ropes in storage, we've got a short rope walk here and a longer one out here with a handle for turning it. So 
once we've got a couple of plied ropes we can ply them together to make cables we can cable them together to make cables because plied strands twisted together that's the definition of cable not what it's made out of but how it's made and then if we come down here here's the blacksmiths all ready to go so we've got a forge I've got the fire under there and the coals here we've got a cauldron when I've got enough iron to make a bucket I'll put some water in there so that the tools can be tempered and the blacksmith hopefully will bring an anvil because I haven't got enough iron for that <laughs> we've got quite a few workers over in the village and that's been fine they've been able to come over and help with these but when the others come they'll have to make little houses for themselves other accommodations and as the other crafts come in the carters the wheelwrights whoever else they'll have to make their own workshops too ah but once they all arrive once the quarrymen come and start digging out the quarry and the masons are here and they can dress the stone that's when we can start putting in a course of stonework for all the towers and the walls and really get started on this I am super excited ah <sighs> so next episode it's all on we are getting some major building done and I'll see you then oh, I'm so excited and if you've made it all the way to the end use the secret code phrase dark oak saplings in the comments below bye